Tomorrow, a captain with the Waverly Police Department will face a judge. He's accused of fraud over his timesheets. Before this officer goes to court tomorrow in Sussex County, he sat down with 10 on your side's Andy Fox in a story you'll see only on 10. I was always raised to do the right thing. Doug Davis Jr., a 20-year veteran of law enforcement, indicted for falsifying timesheets. For me, it took a lot out of me. You know, so. You can tell in the silence, in the answers to the questions. How do you get through it? Well, I just rely on my family. Doug Davis got in trouble working three jobs. He was police chief in Newsom since 2011. Then in 2012, he became a captain with the Waverly Police Department. Then in 2013, he became a drug investigator with the Northampton County Sheriff's Office in North Carolina. All at the same time, Davis does not have children, which led to this obvious question. Why were you working three jobs? I just enjoy doing it. It's just something I enjoy doing. I always worked a lot of hours. It's just me. I just like it. He loves law enforcement. Simple as that. Could go to prison now. I feel like I was set up. I really do. Davis says there was bad blood with the previous Waverly police chief, Travis Christian, who, with the former Waverly mayor, Walter Mason, asked the state police to investigate Davis. And as I said before, the investigation started from the Waverly Town Hall. And you asked for the investigation? Yes. And why did you do that? Because uh, of uh, the time sheets. Problems with the timesheet showing Davis was working two places at once sometimes. Just say if I worked 16 hours a day and I didn't work yesterday, he was insisting on me putting eight hours down a day and eight hours down on a prior day even if I, had no, even if I didn't work. Davis says he reported his hours exactly the way Chief Christian wanted him to. I was instructed to put those times down, mm -hmm. and, it, and it may show that I may have been in Waverly when actually I wasn't, but that's what I was instructed by the chief. On some days, the timesheets show Davis was working a 24-hour day. I have worked 24 hours, you know, straight without going to sleep. I'll go from one place to another. I have done that. Davis's attorney, Daniel Vinson. It goes back to the timesheets and the instructions my client received from Chief Christian at the time. This officer of the law is now finding himself on the wrong side of the law. I just got faith that the legal system and the justice system will, you know, will go through the course and everything will be seen to, you know, what, for what it actually is. I'm Andy Fox, 10 on your side. And we called former Chief Travis Christian at his new job with Petersburg Police. We left a message and then asked the dispatcher to have him call us. Christian did not do that. Former Waverly Mayor Walter Mason also said he would call Christian, but Christian again did not call us. Doug Davis Jr. set to be arraigned tomorrow on five felonies and a misdemeanor.